What is going on guys, this is BG Gamer 1120 welcome back to another episode of the Derby County Career Mode here on FIFA 17. I know I haven't uploaded it in quite a while, I think 3 or 2 days, but that is just because I haven't been getting the views that I've wanted to get. <laughs> so I just decided to take a few days off from uploading and let's just see how this one does. But anyways, we start off this episode with the Youth Squad <coughs> Monthly Report. And uh... <clears throat> I decided to offer my scout future star at Alberto Diaz a contract so it is time to promote him to the first team because I was just really antsy I really wanted to use at Alberto Diaz to see how he's like and so I could start developing him for the future and we also get a uh, monthly report from my scout based in England as, and as you can see I left Patrick Martin there for another month just to see how he develops so hopefully he can grow a little bit in potential but if he j drops in potential and rating I might have to release him as you can see the first game did come against Wolverhampton Wonders here they were a tough team in the beginning they dropped down to fifth now from second place or no they went from fifth place from first place to fifth place which really sucks for them but they got a free kick here which Zyro took but Carson made a good save a decent fairly decent save and uh, from that corner kick which was eventually taken Carson punches it out it comes back here he passes it to the corner kick taker they cross it in and they score it is really unfortunate and I was really frustrated when that goal went in because I felt like the person who cro the the assist man was offside. It was played back to the corner kick taker who then crossed it in. I thought that was offside, but apparently not. But we try to respond really quickly here. Johnny Russell gets a little bit lucky and gets the ball back. He shoots, but it just goes wide, and it stays at one nil. And in the 26th minute, they have another chance here, but Carson makes a decent save to keep it at one nil. And once again in the second half, 50th minute. Wolverhampton Wonders have another chance which they miss and we go into counter attack here in the 55th minute it comes to Eterbe from Andre Silva's pass he shoots but their goalkeeper makes a good save to keep it at 1-0 to them and in the 90th minute we put so many bodies forward we were doing some lovely passing it comes to James Wilson but when that shot missed I was just really really furious and I was done and as you can see I just kept pressing X to leave because <laughs> uh, I don't know I just felt like I should have tied it or at least I should have felt I felt like I should have won but or at least tied but I didn't which really sucks and as you can see here Adalberto Diaz did accept his contracts he doesn't have the potential to be special unfortunately but I don't really mind he'll pro I'll probably get him to the 88 89 rating and then he'll stop there and he has three star weak foot and skill moves which is uh, I don't mind too much and I put him to training right away. I accidentally gave him the silver training. But uh, yeah, I'll just give him gold training later on. And we got another another monthly scouting report from my scout based in Germany. Now I, I promoted a, or I added these guys to my youth squad. Some of them, I think Dennis Kraus or and Sven Noman right there. No, not right there. I, pr I had this guy and this guy. Eventually I sign them up <clears throat> and then the rest I believe I reject because <laughs> their potentials are quite quite low <clears throat> You know I'm looking for that 88 to like 94 potential we get a international offer here from Canada my home uh, Country, but again, I just declined it. I declined Canada and Peru because obviously I'm not gonna be doing any international jobs at the moment and uh we get, or our second game of today's episode is against Rotherham United here. Again, I was pretty frustrated after the last defeat. I felt like we could have got something from it. So coming into this game, I had to go all out attack. And uh, with that in mind, we had the first chance of the game here, eight minutes in. It comes to Tom Ince. He gets a little bit lucky, gets the ball back, plays it to Andre Silva. And Andre Silva shoots and slots it home making it derby county won rotherham united nil and i really really did need that because after all our missed chances in the wolverhampton wonders game <clears throat> i just needed some chances to go in and thank god for andre silva putting that ball into the back of the net giving us the one nil lead really really early on which is a good thing but uh, rotherham united we're not going to go down without a fight they had a really good chance here to level it up but carson Makes a good save at his near post to keep it at 1-0 to the home team. 
and from that corner kick which is taken now <laughs> it comes to Kelly and he almost puts it into the top corner but it just goes over the crossbar and you know, over a goal kick and later on into the match in the second half Andre Silva gets a bit lucky actually he wins the ball back he shoots from far but that wasn't a really good shot in my opinion I just decided to show it because that was lacking in some video clips I felt but Rotherham United in the 55th minute did come back with an equalizing goal some bad defending and I don't know how this guy got in the air to score he looks pretty tiny but he did and uh, later on in the match looking for that winning goal Andre Silva unfortunately hitting the post I don't know why he shot it with his left, I tried to make him shoot with the right, but it just didn't register and he shot it with his left. We would have scored, man, <laughs> if, he, if he shot it with his right foot, but here comes the new boy at Alberto Diaz in the 65th minute, looking to make an impact, but uh, as the game is coming to finish, close to its end, Johnny Russell here is on the ball, we're looking for that winning goal, what a ball to Mark Olsen, Olsen plays it back to Johnny Russell, and Johnny Russell has been doing what he has done, what he's been doing best, and that is scoring the goal, Johnny Russell in the 86th minute puts Derby County up, and with no time for Rotherham United to come back, and thanks to Johnny Russell, we get the win. A nice 2-1 win. Actually, not a nice 2-1 win, but a uh, really close game. We're lucky to come w away with the win. And Andre Silva, after the match, came to me and said, thank you for playing him. And uh, yeah, no problem, Andre. You just keep scoring the goals, and I'll keep playing you, mate. But unfortunately, I have him on loan. I would have liked to purchase him, but unfortunately, he's going to go back to Porto in the next after the next season but uh, I'll probably look to purchase him but uh, the next game did come against Norwich City here looking to get another win Eterby has a good chance here and early early on into the match five minutes in only but their goalkeeper makes a de decent save and uh, the ball comes here to Will Hughes from Johnny Russell he plays it to Andre Silva Andre Silva takes an early shot and geez for the second time this episode, uh, Andre Silva has hit the post, which is really bad. But Alberto Diaz has his first start here. He takes a shot from range, and what a goal that would have been for the youngster, but unfortunately not. And later on, Alberto Diaz has another chance here. He gave him too much space, but unfortunately he couldn't make them pay as he shot it too close to the goalkeeper. And later on, Johnny Russell wins the ball. He crosses it in, he passes it to Tom Mance, he comes to Alberto Diaz, he gets blocked by the defense and Johnny Russell takes the shot after the rebound but unfortunately it goes wide and later on into the match, Norwich is City's first chance and you already know it's going in because that's FIFA. <laughs> The opponent gets one chance and they score after you have been creating most of the chances, which is so frustrating because I felt like I could should be winning, but unfortunately we go down 1-0. And uh, later on, Tom Mins holds the ball up. He plays it to Martin Odegaard. There's so much space, but take a look at that for a finish. The less said about that, the better. It goes really, really wide. And in the 88th minute, we are looking desperately for that equalizing goal. It comes to Nick Blackman. Andre Silva plays it to Martin Odegaard. Martin Odegaard quickly plays it to Johnny Russell. And Johnny Russell, MVP. MVP, John, Johnny Russell, man, has just saved us the last two games. He gave us the win last, step, last game. And this game, he rescues us a point in the 89th minute. But credit... Give credit where it's due to Martin Odegaard for that nice assist and Johnny Russell for the great finish to make it 1-1 and at least we come away with a point. But I was still pretty frustrated. I felt like I could have won every single match. But unfortunately, I won one, lost one, and drew one. But uh, we get another uh, scouting report here. And uh, I think I released one player and that is Torben Vogel. The CDM from Germany, I decided to get out of here, mate. Your potential doesn't look too good. So uh, he had to go. And I got monthly, another monthly scouting report from my scout based in England. I left Patrick Martin for another month. I saw that he was doing really well. His potential is still high, so I signed him up. And I believe I signed some other mans up, like Owen Clark. I signed up, and then the rest I just rejected them because their potential is a little bit too low.
And the last game of this episode I simulated because I just couldn't be asked to play another game. I was so frustrated. But uh, anyways, that will do it for today's episode. If you guys did enjoy it, then please do leave a like, comment, and subscribe. As you can see, we did luckily win 2-1. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you.